Hi class, today in our math lesson, we explored a little more on symmetry. The first part was a turn and talk, and it was explain what a line of symmetry is and how you know if a figure has one. So some of the things that we talked about is a line of symmetry is a line that goes down the middle and creates a mirror image of both sides. And here's what some of the classmates said. Fold in half, and if it lines up, it's a line of symmetry. So again, they're talking about if you have this shape and you fold it in half, if you fold it down the line of symmetry, so not necessarily half, because remember half was misleading, but if you fold it down the line of symmetry, then I'm trying to get my flashlight out, then you will only see one set of lines there. Um, if you fold that in half. So it's a mirror image. A line of symmetry is a mirror image of the other side of something. You can break the shape in half different ways to find the lines of symmetry. So I'm going to scroll down through here and let you read some of these. We talked about that word symbol. A line of symmetry is a symbol to show that the shape can be divided in there and it will be symmetrical on both sides. Two different people used the word symbol, and I'm not sure that it is symbol. If you think that symbol would be a correct word to use when describing symmetry, please write me or audio record or video record yourself letting me know your thoughts behind that, because a symbol is usually a picture that represents something else um, or a concept or an idea so let me know if you think why you think a line of symmetry is a symbol because currently I am not convinced that it's a symbol it's, it's a type of line a line of symmetry is a line that on both sides of the line is exactly the same a line of symmetry is a symbol that was the other one so let me know what you're thinking about that why are you thinking that a line of symmetry is a symbol I'm not saying you're wrong just curious what our thinking is. Okay, so that's what our class was thinking as far as lines of symmetry. Draw a figure with at least one line of symmetry. So we'll look at what the class drew. Um, that circle has infinite. Circle, circle, that triangle. Now, um, this triangle isn't symmetrical. One side's a little bit longer than the other, but we, we get the point. A triangle um, would have one of those, at least one line of symmetry. Good job. So just looking through these at the lines of symmetry. So all of those shapes have at least one line of symmetry. Let's move on. Draw all the lines of symmetry on the figure. So this is the lines of symmetry they chose. Do you agree or disagree? Do you think there's more or less? So it's what the classmates chose. Now we talked about this one a little bit. So if this is my shape and I'm thinking about dividing it diagonally. So I'm folding my paper to do it diagonally. There would just need to be one set of lines. That is not one set of lines. There are two there. There's not a mirror image of that. Okay. So you can't do that one diagonally. Um, generally, the only way diagonally would work is if all of the sides are equivalent. So that was the responses for that. I think that's as far as we went today. Yes, that's as far as we went today. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions about symmetry, please let me know. And I hope to see you tomorrow at our Zoom at 10 o'clock. Bye.